Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect to MySQL database in AWS RDS. I have connected to my console. In services, search for RDS. Click on RDS. Then click on create database or click on this DB instances. There is one instance that is for the PostgreSQL, but we have to create MySQL database. Then click on create database. See here we have two methods one standard create and easy create. I am going with standard create. Here engine options are this many that is Amazon, Aurora, MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL, Oracle, and MS SQL Server. Select this MySQL and the addition is MySQL Community. See the latest version is MySQL 8.0.28. Here templates we have three different production, dev or test or free tier. I am going with free tier. Notice here this availability and durability has been grayed out when we select the free tier. If we select production, see it is enabled. Even for dev also it has been enabled. But in this video I am going with free tier. Settings instance name I am giving my SQL rod 789 and master username is admin. Remember this username. Then provide the password for this user. Instance configuration select first one that is db2 micro and here storage we have three options one general purpose ssd provisioned iopvs ssd and magnetic i am going with the default one that is general purpose ssd allocated storage here by default it has selected 20 gigabytes i am not changing anything also i am not changing the storage auto scaling and its threshold also i am keeping as default ones now in connectivity settings vpc i am going with the default vpc if you want to create new vpc then select this create new vpc subnet group also i am going with the defaults important point here is public access if you don't want connect other than amazon ec2 instances then select this one if you want to connect mysql from amazon ec2s and outside also then the option is yes Now security group by default it has selected default one. I am going to change it to launch wizard. Zone preference I am going with the first one. Additional configurations the port number is 3306. If you want to change, change here. Authentication type password authentication. Also if you want password and IAM database authentication select this option. For password and Kerberos authentication select this one. But at present I am going with password authentication additional configuration if you want to create new if you want to create new database then provide the database name if you want to enable automated backups check the checkbox if you don't want then uncheck it here backup retention period by default it has selected 7 days but we can select up to 35 days see here Backup window, if you want to select window, just click on the select window and select the start time. If you don't want, then select no preference. Copy tags to snapshot. If you want to export logs, select all these checkboxes. If you want to enable monitoring, then select this one. Here we have to select these, these options. But I am not selecting this one. We can select, we can set this after creating mysql instance also after all these settings after all these settings just click on create database see its status is creating <coughs> wait until the status becomes available i am pausing this video until until this mysql database creation completes see mysql community engine database has been created successfully notice here 
status also has been changed to available. Now we have to connect to the this MySQL database. Now we are going to connect this MySQL RDS from the MySQL workbench. Click on this MySQL database. See, this is the host name we have to provide while connecting to MySQL and this is the port number that we have to give. Before connecting, we have to add your IP and port number in security groups. Just click on this active security group. Just click on this VPC security group. Then click on this edit inbound rules. Then click on add rule. Custom TCP and port range. You can give port range or just give the port number. Select IP, my IP, which means you can connect only from your current IP. If you want to connect from anywhere, then just select anywhere IPV and click on save rules. But at present, I want to connect from my IP. Then click on save rules. Then go to RDS again. Instances. MySQL instances copy this endpoint. Endpoint is nothing but the host name. Now open. Also notice here public access public accessibility should be S. Yes. That we have selected at the time of MySQL RDS creation. Start MySQL work. Click on this MySQL workbench. Click on this plus symbol to connect the AWS. Here name I am giving AWS RDS MySQL. Connection method standard TCP and here host name we have to give the endpoint of the RDS MySQL. Then port number is 3306 and username is I have given username as admin at the time of MySQL RDS creation. Then click on store in vault. Then provide the password for the admin user which you have created now. Then click on OK. Now click on test connection. See, a successful MySQL connection was made with the parameters defined for this connection. No, notice here host name, port number, username, SSL enabled with this. A successful MySQL connection was made with parameters defined for this connection. Click on OK and click on OK. Again click on this connection. See, this is the administration tab. If you want to see the databases, click on the schemas. See, R2 schools is the database which we have created. So, databases. Select the query and execute it. We have these many databases. Except this R2 schools, all three are the default databases comes with MySQL RDS instance. So, in this video, we have seen how to create and connect to MySQL database in AWS RDS. For more AWS and MySQL videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.